welcome weekly project review with justin and corey today we are diving into one of my favorite projects solana so uh this thing has come down quite a bit since it's all time high it's actually looking pretty decent as far as a bottom um been holding this level for quite some time basically since you know june late june so definitely um not a project to sleep on uh they've been having a few issues with some network outages but uh the way solana is set up is rather than getting hacked and drained for all that cash if there's an issue um basically the network shuts down and they get to resolve the issue before there's massive losses. So it's not necessarily a bad thing. It's a little frustrating sometimes when you're trying to send a transaction, but at least your funds aren't gone that way. You know, there's some people crapping on Solana for that, but um, really I would rather, you know, if a DEX gets compromised, I would rather just a quick pause, you know, and then uh, continue on rather than having some massive crashes like we've seen in the past. There's some uh, news on Mt. Gox that just came out, um, be creditors being able to get their cash back. So there's lots of instances where <laughs> we're seeing, you know, exchanges go down <clears throat> and there's some major issues. So it's fairly similar, but uh yeah, Solana is a great project for decentralized finance. I do enjoy using it for the low transaction fees and the fast transaction times. Uh, near instant, near free, and then um, they've got good liquidity. Uh, there's the, um, oh, I can't remember the, the name of the bridge, but uh, basically you're able to transact over onto other markets, Ethereum. Um, there's quite a few others, Wormhole Bridge. I wonder if I'll be able to bring that up. I'll bring that up in here in a little bit, but uh, once I give the screen over to you, Justin. But uh, quite a large market cap, you know, just under, well, just over 11 billion. So a little late for this guy. Um, I shouldn't say a little late for this guy, but you're, it's fairly established. You know, we've got a big project, um, lots of adoption, and I think it's going to go a long ways from here on out. So it's not, you know, Bitcoin market cap by any means. You've got 10x potential, but um, yeah, some of the best NFT games I've seen are on Solana blockchain too. So if you're in the, in the play to earn space, uh, this one is definitely something to keep an eye on. Um, I was just before we started this recording, getting a little bit excited over some of the uh, NFT marketplaces. I saw a little thing on CoinGecko flashed up before uh, we started the recording. So uh, lots more to come. You know, the price is quite far down, uh, peaked at 250 bucks. Like we're able to pick it up for 30 right now, pretty much the same price as Litecoin. That's uh, kind of funny that but um, yeah, down 78% or, you know, 80% discount basically from all time highs. So that's right around the time, you know, if you're super interested in this, it's a decent time to ladder in. Um, I would have, I would definitely look at it for a long-term position. Um, not financial advice, obviously, but this is one that's going to be quite popular in the DeFi space for quite some time. Uh, USDC also... Uh, states that they are native to the Solana network for those that are big fans of USDC and Circle, uh, which is getting a lot of attention lately. So that and FTX exchange is also tied to Solana as well. So um, lots of strong companies pushing this. You know, there's some speculation with the SEC, but we'll see what happens. So definitely worth looking into uh this is the nft marketplace i was getting all excited about uh, ultimate guide to solana's phantom wallet definitely worth checking out i'm a big fan of phantom and then uh yeah good to keep in touch uh on top of some of the, the news so podcasts and some of this information has been great too so justin i will pass it on to you for the website if you want yeah you bet 
no, a big fan of this project as well. Um, especially from the, the play to earn, the gaming side of things. I think they partnered, uh, Ubisoft partnered with Solana, I believe it was. So lots of development coming in and the team's been great. Um, yeah, there's tons of info in here, but the scalability is what makes makes Solana so popular. So everyone's looking for the next Bitcoin killer, next Ethereum killer. And Solana is one of those that, you know, it's 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 big competition for Ethereum because of that scalability. They've got a unique consensus mechanism that uses proof of stake, but they use proof of history as well with a decentralized clock for timestamping. And that's how they can escalate and get all of these transactions so quick and so cheap. So right here, you can see the current state of the network and how many yeah. transactions have been pros processed, your average cost, how many validator nodes, very transparent, lots of information in here. Uh, these guys are, you know, they're, they're a blockchain uh, level one, right? So they don't have, you know, with Polygon being a, a level two, they've got some other chains that they got to move through. So there's, there's more, points of contact for that transaction where Solana is peer to peer on their chain. That's it. Tons of development, but DeFi, NFTs and gaming, I think are going to be huge in the blockchain area, the, the crypto space and Solana right now is really set up to, to be a leader in that as well as developers. A few of my friends that actually develop, with cryptocurrencies and projects love the Solana blockchain for developing just ease of use. Uh, they use a different, um, different protocol that's supposed to be far easier. I think it's called rust compared to Ethereum that has a couple different ones. So far easier to build as well, but we can come back up to the top here. You can dive in through all the developers and why there's low fees, the gaming, the payment side, the DAOs, you name it. Get into your scans. So soul scan is actually really nice, nice layout, looks really smooth. The community is huge, huge. Like you, you've got an army of people in the Solana community here. Um, and then the ecosystem as well just keeps growing and growing. Every time I open this page, there's more and more partnerships, more and more dApps and projects and DEXs and marketplaces. We could talk about Solana forever. Um, what I found really cool were, so the developers, a lot of the developers are ex, you know, Silicon Valley guys uh, working for Google, Apple, Microsoft, all the big players in that space. And those those big time developers in those companies, they they seen what Solana was was working towards and they jumped ship. They, they wanted to be a part of this project. So really cool to go through. Um, Again, tons, tons of information, tons of projects and development. Anything you want to touch in here? Uh, not so much there. Um, Web3 is going to be huge. Actually, yeah, Audius is something I would definitely check out. Uh, if you haven't already, if you like Spotify and want to start supporting, uh, you know, up and coming crypto projects, Audius is a big one. Um, they've come a long ways. I've tested them a couple times. The first time I was like, awesome, cool, good feel. None of the music that I want to listen to. Uh, the second time I gave it, you know, six, eight months and then came back to it. And there's a lot more adoption. So uh, check it out. It's uh, pretty cool. You're able to, you know, collect tokens for listening to the music that you love and uh, participate in the underlying economy. So pretty cool. Uh, there's also some of the, uh, oh, I can't remember the name of it, one of the gaming star something for uh, their gaming would be super cool to check out too. Star Atlas. Star Atlas. One, yeah. yeah, that looked pretty cool. This is one that I'll be looking at getting more involved with as well, especially when everything's on discount. So yeah this is one that looked very cool um youtube it sometime star atlas the uh the gameplay looks insane it looks if you're familiar with halo or uh oh i can't remember the other one 
but basically like halo graphics you know very high end very fast very high impact and uh looks like a lot of fun so this is just the beginning um i do see them sticking around for a long time the technology is you know top of the top and uh a lot of good projects spawning from them as well so nfts you know they've got a lot to offer depending on what you're you know passionate about in the space whether that's nfts or gaming you know trading like we do uh solana has treated us quite well in the past so i think that was one of my <laughs> uh public posts was we did a an airdrop for safe trade and uh i got uh, my first solana free at about five dollars and then uh, sold it at 140 or 150 something like that so a lot more safe coin uh i'm trying not to <laughs> spout off about safe coin on every single one of these videos but uh that is, i didn't want to allude to that but if you are looking for something that is solana or similar to solana check out safe coin as well uh we always love talking about it on this channel and um it's about a 5 million or 8 million market cap right now. So potential huge gainer. And then if there is any issues with the SEC and Solana, then there's that transition over to Safecoin. So um, lots more to cover in the Solana ecosystem. This won't be the last time that we talk about it, but uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite networks and uh, ecosystems for sure. So lots more to come. Yeah, what I love about them too is they they've got so many different partnerships and friends in the crypto space. When when they started having issues and and struggled to resolve, you know, they reached out to to other developers with different projects. Safecoin being one of them, just because they're so closely linked, and and Safecoin was more than happy to help get them back up and running. Show them yeah. just just lend a hand, right? That's what I love about this space. It's it's all about developing and providing solutions it's not it's not like that corporate driven more money more shareholder you know provide that profit it's it's literally about the solutions keeping them going so yeah love love Solana. yeah building something greater together than we can apart so you'll hear me say that quite often <laughs> if you watch these videos long enough so this uh is it for this week if you found value in the video leave a comment below we want to hear from you guys uh topics on next week things that you want to cover you know especially this video if there's any solana projects out there that you're really passionate about you know excited about let us know in the comments you know we can check it out and uh, potentially do a review on this channel as well so uh, that's it for me, Justin. Any final words? Yeah, I'd love to hear from people. There's, you know, everyone's got that little gem they've been watching, and it'd be great to great to hear what you guys have found and and do a deep dive on it and and see what we can build. Awesome. Yeah, that's it for this week. See you same time, same place next week. Take care.